Hello, my name is Jay Poole, and today we're going to go over how to set up Capture on Touch for Canon scanners. So I'm going to open it up by going to my Start menu, and then underneath my scanner, I've got it right here, Capture on Touch. Click that. Um, so it's separated into two basic sections here. We've got the Select Document, so this is how you're going to scan. So the Scan Settings, um, and then we also have Select Output, so this is where it's going to go. So we'll start with um, the Scan Settings. So if you hit the little pencil inside of these, um, this is where you can change your settings. So black and white is going to be your smallest file size. Uh, grayscale is going to be uh, a little bigger, but uh, you get more detail. Color, just like it says, 100% color. Uh, and then detect auto, which is going to decide between that color and grayscale. So you've got those options there. Um, then you have page size, so you can match original size, so that means you can have different size originals in there and it's going to automatically swap sizes for you. Um, if you know you're only going to do letter all the time, you can go ahead and select letter here and it'll kind of speed it up as well. But we'll leave that on match original size. Um, on DPI, this is just how much detail you want. So if you were doing just pictures and you didn't care about the file size, you can go all the way to uh, 600. Um, there is a detect auto, but um, sometimes that can make your file sizes get kind of out of hand. So usually we stick to 200 or 300, so we'll go 200 for this one. Then scanning side, you've got your simplex, which is one-sided down here. You've got duplex for two-sided, and you've got skip blank page for if you have one-sided and two-sided documents together. So what it does, if it sees a blank page, it automatically deletes it. So we really like that setting. Um, so we don't pretty much leave this on. So if the document's fed in sideways, it'll automatically straighten it for you. Um, and this rotate image. So if your document has any typed text on it, and if it's in there backwards or it's uh, sideways and needs to be rotated, it'll automatically do that for you. Um, you can ignore these settings if you like the Twain driver settings. You can click this and go to settings. And if you set up any Twain driver settings for anything else, like Capture Perfect or anywhere else, it'll show those to you already right there. So you don't have to do these settings twice. Um, and then here we name it. So I've got this one black and white, so we'll call it black and white auto. I call it auto because it's automatically checking front and back, and it's automatically checking the size, and it's automatically going to rotate it. Um, so I just turn that off, that way it changes the icon. And so now we've got a nice little image there. Um, so a lot of times I'll delete this one, and then I'll right click and copy this. And then I'll go into the pencil, and I'll make one for gray. And so you can see the different detail. You're getting more detail in that grayscale. And then I'll hit copy again. And we'll call this one color. And change it up here. And usually for color, I do detect auto because um, even if they forget to turn it off color, you're going to save some file size because on certain documents that has some gray, it'll uh, make it a smaller file size for you. But if it has any color, it's going to pick it up. So this is how you set up the scanner settings. In the next video, we'll talk about outputs. Thank you.